this mosquito. Oh my god. Look at the size of this mosquito. Oh my god. Man, I... No wonder why I don't like this town, Brandon. This thing is a monster. It is the size of a bird. What the hell's that thing been sucking on? Freaking crazy. All right, status update. What is going on with me today? I'm working on the van, doing, putting the roof back in, and changing out my computer to the performance computer. And while I'm doing that, I've got some barbecue and some mushrooms just with salt and a bit of butter. So we're doing a slow smoke barbecue. So we got the old computer out and we're all emptied and I'm gonna go through the wiring a little bit to try and clean it up and or rewrap it so there's no issues there. The old the performance computer I'm excited to try it out. Who knows if it'll work <laughs> or blow up <laughs> one or the other. Uh, it's an exact match from what I see to the one I just bought, the new one, except for the air horn induction is a little bit more uh, downturned. So, and that's not a big deal because that's just a cold air, um, cold air duct basically to cool off the computer. So let's, while we're here, you know what? I'll show you the roof line. It's much better. I've got the top glued up. I just have to put some edging on and do some finished touch-ups and glue-ups. Uh, I'd like to put some kind of edging there and make it cleaner. But actually, the roof looked better than what I thought, kind of, sort of. You know, it's not 100%, but that's okay. I, I kind of like this look a little bit. Technically, I should put another coat on, but you know what? The latex worked perfect. I so I won't be getting foam or that crap glue that was peeling off in my eyes or all over food and everything else that was in the van so happy campers so anyways guys thanks for watching appreciate who the hell knows what's gonna happen next in my life so uh, stay tuned we're gonna update you on uh, what uh, what I'm gonna do in the next month or so? I gotta figure out because winter's coming. So, all right, later. Yeah, hot damn! These things are uh, pretty tasty. Um, not overcooked, not undercooked. Slightly smoky. Um, slight the salty, perfect. So now that we are back in Manitoba, specifically Brandon, I'm taking a look at my older camper van and trying to figure out what should I do with this thing. And for the matter of fact is interior wise, what am I going to do with the interior? Do I make my own camping style? I'm not too sure yet. I can do my own camper interior to my own design and fit it for my bike and, and some other things. So that's the one thing I'm looking at. Or do I sell it and buy a, an already camperized van? And like I do have a tendency to like Dodges more. So I'm throwing around the idea, should I sell it while it still has a safety on it? Now, if I keep it, I will have to do some repairs. As you see right there, that is a... I won't say a major concern, but I know that's going to pop up in the next while, which is a minor de detail. Uh, it's been sitting, so yeah, it's a little dirty. Uh, 
the tires are brand new. They're they're super good, so I'll get some time out of that. The other thing I know I need on this van is I'll have to repair these seals because there's a lot of wind going through there. Um, I can do a temporary silicone fix just to seal it up for now and then in the future get new seals for this. The good thing is Dodge or er, Dodge Chevy van parts you can find lots of. Another thing I'm not too crazy about they had a stove or er, a heater in there or something at one time and they did a really shitty patch job that's pretty freaking ugly if you ask me so if I kept this I would do a proper recess patch and the other thing uh, one thing I will need to I won't say one thing is a, a new door rear door is totally shot and rusted out but I'm not worried because there's a lot of these around Another thing I want to do is probably clean up top of here. There's a lot of crud in there and I'll have to pour 15 it. But the rest of it is pretty damn clean. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm a fan of the color but or the floorboards. But for now, I think that's what's going to stay like. And the other thing I'm thinking of reason why I'm sell it, even though it would be a lot of room, for me for traveling and it gets actually fairly good gas mileage but uh, the, the other reason why I thought of selling it is oh, I forgot what I was going to say already I don't know oh, oh the safety um, it's legally safetyed for another year and to get it re-safetyed I'm sure it would pass but uh, the guy passed it it would might need a window and a couple small things to re-safety it. So do I spend the effort on this? Mind you, you know what? If I buy another van, it's gonna more than likely need a lot of work anyway for the price range I'm looking at. So, but then I can, like I said, I can buy a camperized van and I can buy an old Dodge like I wanted. Uh, and the nice thing, of, I guess the other option on this one to keep it is it's got incredibly low mileage. 127,000 miles, not kilometers. So that's about 200,000 kilometers. So it's it'll go forever. The engine and tranny and stuff will go forever. If I buy another vehicle, it's hit and miss. I won't know. And this one, I know just the, oh, a water pump. It needs a water pump. Other than that, this one is primal. So decisions, decisions.